Well, numerous cats were taken into the cat's cradle after hoarders were evicted from a hotel. Most of these cats have medical issues, unfortunately, related to the environment that they lived in. According to the shelter that took the cats in, the couple who was evicted actually took some cats with them. And as they told Valley News Team's Aaron Walling, they're concerned a scenario like this could happen again. This is Edwin. One of the 48 cats rescued from the Baymont Hotel in South Fargo. 24 were taken to Cat's Cradle. But our heart just breaks for these cats. Edwin had a ruptured left eye and it was removed. Now he's living out a much healthier and happier life. They're so stressed, they're so scared, and now they're put into a situation um, with different medical problems and things like that. We didn't find a cat older than three. Like this cat, who doesn't have a name yet, was rescued from the hotel. She's being checked for a hernia that she has because she is also pregnant. The hoarding issue is all too common, according I mean, to the shelter. Like well, when you hear about this, your heart sinks. And because we've seen it before. And it is also dangerous for the people who live in that environment. The ammonia conditions are super strong, super irritating to your respiratory tract. The elderly couple that was evicted took some cats with them, and there are concerns this can happen again. They are at a risk of starting to repopulate all over again. We may be in this exact same situation a year from now. The shelter is making a plea to the elderly couple. If they are watching this, please contact Cat's Cradle Shelter. We would pay for your spay neuter. We'll test them. We'll vaccinate them. We'll microchip them for you. We will do full services for the cats that they took. In Fargo, Air Walling, Valley News Live. You can read more about this story as well as get push alerts to breaking news in our area by downloading the VNL News app. It's completely free. Just search VNL News in the App Store today.